Bye. So you just finished listening to the story, Squirrel's New Year's Resolution. And I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about what is a resolution. A resolution is just a fancy word for a goal. And I want you to start thinking about today. What goal do you want to set for yourself um, in your life? So I loved what Squirrel did. She couldn't really figure out what she wanted to do. And so she went through all of her friends and she was kind of feeling upset because they had a resolution. Bear had a resolution. And yet she couldn't figure out one for herself. But what she discovered is something she's good at is helping others. And so she took something she was good at and decided to try and do that every day. And it made, she made her resolution or her goal to help somebody every day which is a great way to think about a goal. It's something you're good at that you want to be better at. Um, But a goal can also be something you aren't good at that you want to practice every day. Um, I know one of my kids really wanted to ride their bike, so she decided to practice every day until she was able to ride it. That could be a goal as well or a resolution. So then I started thinking about my own resolution and what do I want to do or be able to do? And I really like to cook at our house, but I'm not always great at planning out our meals. So one of my goals or resolutions is to be better at meal planning and making a plan, you know how much I love plan, about the meals we're going to make at the Sortino house. Now, as an adult, I like to make two resolutions because I like to have one that I'm going to work at at home and one that I'm going to work at at school. Um you are welcome to do the same thing, or you can come up with just one. Totally up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and swivel my screen down so that you guys can see my paper. I found my journal paper. Hopefully you guys still have yours ready to go, Um, because you're going to need it for this activity. Here is our writing journal, Um, and I'm just going to pop mine open to my next clean page and come here to my line. So I'm going to start with the journal or the resolution, the goal I had for home, and then I'll talk to you mine about school. So I'm going to start here, and first I want to think out my sentence. I want to plan out dinner every week. That sounds good. So I'm going to start with I, uppercase I, I, and then as a writer, I do know that I'm going to need a finger space in between. I want, that's W. A N T T is a lot tall letter. I want, here's my finger space. I'm going to do mine from the top just because of my angle. I want to choose a sight word T O finger space plan. Oh, I can stretch out plan. P O N out. Out is actually a sight word for those groups one and two. O U T. I want to plan out. I'm gonna. I don't have enough space down here, so I'm just gonna come down here. Now I don't have to start with an uppercase because it's not a new sentence. I'm just using a new line. I want to plan out dinner. D in n e r every e v r e Every, oh, you know what I know. I know that every, when E is saying its name at the end, a lot of times it can be that Y. I want to plan out dinner every space week. W. E, E can say its name. It's two E side by side. W. E. K. And it's a K. All right, so when I go back and reread, because as writers know, we go back and reread our work, I'm going to point underneath. I want to plan out dinner every week. Um, I think I want to add an S here. I want to plan out dinners because I want to do it more than once. Dinners every week. So I have my all of my sentences in there. I have an uppercase at the beginning. The rest are lowercase. Uh Uh-oh, I'm missing something. What do I put my period at the end? So this would be my goal or a resolution that I have created um, for home. I also love to think about goals that I have for 
school as well. And as a teacher, my goal might be a little bit different than your goals as a student. But as a teacher, um, what I like to do is I like to constantly be a student. So I like to think about ways to make myself better as a teacher. And so I, um, actually, I'll tell you my thinking first. My, um, my goal or my resolution as a teacher is to um, read a new teacher research book once a month something that I can do. It kind of gets me as a teacher thinking about best practices in the classroom and what I can do better. Um, and so that's going to be my goal there. Look, there's Brooklyn. She's in my room. So I think my goal for as a teacher is to read a teacher book, or one teacher book every month. I think that's going to be what I'm going to write. So again, I'm going to go ahead and bring my, oops, bring our writing, our camera back down. And it says, I, here's my finger space, want, W-A-N-T. And again, these are all lowercase letters, even though T is tall. I want space to, T-O, sight word, space, read, R E E is saying its name, read, space, a, we know that word can say its name by itself. I want to read a teacher book. All right. Again, I'm going to come down to my next line. I know that I'm not done with my sentence, but I just need more space. So that's okay to go ahead and come down and get more space on the next line. I want to read a t e again, e saying its name. Ch, ch, ch. That's a ch. Teacher book. B. Uh, oh, oh, uh, I want to read a teacher book every, ev, er, e. Oh, I did that earlier with a Y. Every. Here's where I get to make a decision as a writer. I want to write the word month. Um, I can't fit all of that on this line. Now I could probably fit the M for month. But I'm not going to be able to fit that whole word. So I'm going to go ahead and come down to my next line, which is totally okay. It's still going to be a lowercase letter because it does not start a new sentence. I haven't put my period in there. And I know my sentence is, I want to read a teacher book every month. Mm, uh, mm, uh, oh, I know you can't see my mouth, but my teeth are biting my tongue. That's a T-H month. All right, let me go back and read. Here's my first one. I'm not going to reread that again, but I want to read a teacher book every month. And of course, I have spaces in between my words, uppercase at the beginning, the rest are lowercase, and a period at the end. All right, kindergarten friends, I have written about my New Year's resolutions and what I want to do to get better or goals that I have for myself, now I want to know what would your resolution or goal be for yourself? Um, Boston and I were talking about his goals this last week. You know what he wants to learn to do? Tie his shoes. It's a great one for a five-year-old. Um, he doesn't know how to tie his shoes yet. Do all of you know how to tie your shoes? Hmm. Just thinking. What resolution do you want or what goal do you want for your life? Maybe it has something to do with school. Maybe it has something to do with home. What do you want to get better at? Or how do you want to be helpful to others? Start thinking about that, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. All right. Thanks, friends.